Hello everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking in just like that. Season two, 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 two. Will there be a season two or not? This is the topic du jour, darling. Everybody is talking about it. Yes, even Emily in Paris is shaking in her butts because she's like, are they gonna steal my swagger? Yes, they will, darling. Yes, they will. Subscribe to my channel first. Here on the tubes, push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. You can access extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Jacob all spelled together. Thank you to my patrons and members who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday. Hi, co-chatters. Carrie Bradshaw and the Hoose already. Uh, everybody's welcome to join the live chats and the live stream every Saturday on my channel. Now, listen, you guys. Will there be a, a season two or not? It is at the tip of the tongues and the mouths of many a TV show critic. But here is what uh, I have to say. Glamour, darling. Glamour is reporting. Uh, will and just like that get a season two? Here's everything we know. This is what they say. To the surprise of perhaps no one, speculation about a season two for HBO Max's buzzy Sex and the City revival has begun. The series has had its fair share of highs. I'm just, you know, don't shoot the messenger here, okay? See Carrie's iconic looks returning. And Lowe's, Big's tragic Peloton episode. But no matter where you stand on Miranda and Che Diaz, the show undoubtedly had us talking. And that discourse may keep going, as it seems a season two could be on the horizon. Here's what we know so far. Spoiler alert, you guys. You guys. Or is it a spoiler alert? Well, let's see. Um, so US Weekly reported back in December that discussion surrounding a second season had halted following allegations of S.A., against Chris Noth. But according to a new report from page six, sources close to the show are optimistic about a possible renewal. The creative conversations haven't happened yet, but everyone is feeling good about the show, a source told page six. They may feel that they want to prove a point that they can make a second season stronger and that it was valid to bring it back for fans, another source added. The season one finale is set to air on February 3rd, and provided the series doesn't kill off another character, there's hope we'll see the core cast return for another season. Executive producer Michael Patrick King has hinted that he'd be open to continuing the story of Carrie, Miranda, and Charlotte. And maybe Samantha? Kim! Kim, 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 Kim! Kimmy! Kim, 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 Kim! Come on, Kim! Come here! Come here! Come here! Let's do a, let's do a Sex and the City together! Come here! Um, as we were working, it always felt like the beginning, he told Emmy Magazine per E! News. It didn't feel like a beginning, middle, and an end. So I think it's possible to keep going if we have enough good stories. Casey Bloys, HBO's chief content officer, also said, a season two isn't off the table. To tell you the truth, it would be a conversation, because I have no idea, Bloys told Vulture. They kind of came together to do this. It's like, who am I to know? I just like, I just own this company. But girl, I don't know. I just like, they want to do the show. They do the show. Carrie wants to do the show. I let her do the show. They want to do season two. I let them do season. I don't know. I don't know. I just run HBO, but I don't know. They kind of came together to do this. They were all really busy and doing other things. So it is certainly a conversation we'll have for sure. But we haven't decided anything or done anything. I'm going to leave it up to these guys to figure out what they want to do. But I'm very happy with what they've done. I will tell you, it's kind of what you want in a show like this. It really does feel like you're picking up with old friends and haven't missed a beat. But how does the cast feel about a potential season two? Hmm... 
Interestingly, and just like that, star Cynthia Nixon has been non-committal about a second season. Hmm. Even though I'm an executive producer and I got to direct an episode, I am not a writer, Nixon told Entertainment Tonight on January 20. And so that is one of the great privileges of being a writer, that it's not my job to figure it out. Thank God. And just like that, newcomer Sarita Chaudhary, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that, who stars as Carrie's realtor friend Seema Patel, however, is hopeful about season two. She has, she has been quoted to have said, just the other day, I was thinking, I wonder. Because there's a point where they let you know if there is or not. And we're not at that point yet. She told Entertainment Tonight, I was thinking, God, I hope there is. And also, I was thinking, you know, when you bring in new characters and you just start establishing and everyone's getting used to all of us having grown up, Carrie's grown up. I feel like the second season would be able to just jump into who they really are as opposed to getting the audience used to seeing what they're seeing. So I would love a second season, but I really don't know. Um, also reports uh, from cinemablend.com. Uh, uh, will Sarah Jessica Parker and Cole return for Just Like That Season 2? Sex in the City revival and Just Like That, the pro that premiered on HBO Max towards the end of 2021. Uh, while it's been met with some criticism and complaints from fans, many fans have been enjoying seeing Carrie, Miranda, and Charlotte together again. Though season one still has a few episodes left, our sights are set on the future. So could we see Sarah, Jessica Parker, and co. return for a second season? Some sources confessed to page six that everyone is feeling good about the show and that HBO Max may feel that they want to prove a point that they can bring back and just like that for an even stronger second season, which we read in the other article. You see these articles copy and paste everything from each other. <laughs> That's what I do too. Hi, everybody. Um, so this is so funny. They call him the head honcho here. Uh, so previously, an interview that HBO Max head honcho did with Vulture indicated that the decision for more episodes largely would depend on what the leading ladies wanted to do with him noting it would be a conversation. Candace Bushnell, the author of the books, Sex and the City, had also previously alleged Sarah Jessica Parker was not particularly excited about coming back initially, and she almost took on the role. Now, have times changed? Could season two happen? Wait a minute. So Candace Bushnell would have been Carrie if Sarah Jessica Parker said no to being Carrie? Did they write something wrong here? Am I understanding this right? That would have been really awkward. Um, it at least seems like Sarah Jessica Parker, Cynthia Nixon, and Kristen Davis have been excited about the Sex and the City revival since they got back to work. When filming started for and Just Like That, the trio looked professional and back in their happy places, even without Kim Cattrall. The series that kicked off with the Peloton character's death heard round the, the world got a pretty auspicious start and that was even after all the drama surrounding the absence of Kim Cattrall, who portrayed Samantha Jones on the original series. After a very public fallout with Sarah Jessica Parker, Cattrall chose to not be in. And just like that, author Candace Bushnell shared her feelings about the situation, noting that she loves Cattrall and was understanding of her decision. The actress went on to do a different reboot, Hulu's How I Met Your Father, as the future version of Hilary Duff's Sophie. The series has included some new characters like Chicago PD vet Nicole Ari Parker as a Park Avenue mother and Grey's Anatomy al al alumni and bisexual icon Sarah Ramirez, who portrays a queer non-binary stand-up comedian and podcast host, Che Diaz. And just like that, may have its problems when it comes to Peloton and personal feuds, but it seems to be moving forward and beyond these setbacks. It's hard to tell when HBO Max will have a decision on a second season, though, considering there are still two episodes left of season one, well, by now only one, as we're filming this, I'm guessing we'll have to wait longer than that. Hopefully, Sarah Jessica Parker and everyone will come back for a bigger and better season two. In the meantime, there's other great stuff that you can watch, like Sex and the City, the whole show from season one to now. So, um... It seems like there's going to be a season two. I personally think there's going to be season two. 
HBO Max or HBO, all of these characters, all of these actresses, all of these big names, you don't invest so much money and time and effort into just doing a 10 episode run because otherwise you would just make a movie and earn even more money off of it. I think this is more like a 20 episode run, a two season thing. Maybe season two is going to have even more than 10 episodes. Everybody says, I see you, Sharon. Sharon Stone. Yeah, we were talking about this. Who could be Samantha Jones? At this point, I honestly, you guys, I personally feel like Samantha Jones should come back. But I also feel like Kim Cattrall doesn't have to come back. Uh, somebody else can be Samantha Jones. There was speculation about Sharon Stone. I would love, because Samantha Jones is in London, and I've said this in the past, but I'm going to say it here again. I think it would be amazing if Joanna Lumley came came back as Samantha Jones because, you know, Samantha Jones went to London, you know, just like Madonna went to London and then acquired the British accent. Don't forget that Samantha Jones in the OG Sex in the City in the Soho house, when she snuck into the Soho, they didn't want to give her a membership, but she found a card on the reception of some lady. She stole her card and she brought the girls with her to the Soho house. Um, and when she was caught, impersonating another person uh she dropped the, a british accent she delivered a british accent and everybody was like well they didn't fall for it but so we know that she can do a british accent so samantha jones can do the british accent yeah debbie she did it at the pool on the rooftop of the soho house so yeah amanda bronstein realness yes tyler that was the name of the oh, i'm amanda bronstein and he's like, and then and then the waiter is like, I for a fact, madam, know that Amanda Bronstein comes like from the upper west, blah, 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 not the lower, blah, blah, blah. Your accent is like terrible. <laughs> and she's like, oh, how dare you? So that would be amazing to have Joanna Lumley come back as Samantha Jones. It would be super, super funny. Um, oh, Annabelle Brands, Annabelle Bronstein. Oh, it's Annabelle Bronstein. Yes, Annabelle Amanda sounds better, though. Tyler, I prefer Amanda to Annabelle. Because Annabelle, since then, we've had the horror movies with Annabelle, so it's kind of, it's kind of creepy. To, <laughs> to in, I envision the doll. I envision Annabelle. Um, so it's like this whole moment of, like, Joanna Lumley coming back as Patsy from London, and they go to pick her up at the airport, and she's like, hey, cheers, mate. <laughs> And walks to her car and goes home. And everybody's like, what's wrong with her? That would be amazing. Um, Julie Fitzgerald says, uh, she said, I, I, I grew up I, I, in India. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the guy's like, your accent isn't properly. She's like, yes, I grew up in India. <laughs> that ja is where Trump got his inspiration to say China instead of China. Uh, you know, he was inspired by Samantha Jo. He was inspired by Kim Cattrall's uh, impersonation of Annabel Bronstein, raised in Inja. <laughs> yeah. Jaina. And that's that. Um, that's that. So, um... oh, Sharon Stone is in Flight Attendant Season 2. Oh, thanks for letting me know, Ju. Ja. Ju. Um, yeah, I, I think there's going to be a season two. That's like, I'm calling it here and now we will be getting a season two. And I think it, we will be getting it sooner than you think. It's probably going to air like next year, same time, more or less. You know, they're going to need time to write, get together and then shoot. I mean, they were like shooting like bam, 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 bam. And the show came out like a month after they stopped shooting. So they, they can be quick if they want to be quick, you know. So that's that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think season two will be here. If you think, oh my God. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think we will be getting a season two. And also let me know if you want a season two because then a lot of people are like not into the show really. But even the people that are hating the show, they're watching it because they love the show. They love to hate the show, but they love to watch it. You know, just like somebody once said on TikTok. Uh, how did that go? 
Oh, it's just this voice clip. I don't remember word by word, but I, I remember the gist. And the gist was, so you have 100, so you post a photo on Instagram. Um, you get 20 likes. You repost it on Insta stories and uh, only 100 people see it. What do you take from this? People don't like you very much, but they are watching. And with that, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Thumb up this video. Subscribe to my channel while you're at it for more funny content and crazy content. And until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.